Google just dropped something big, the agent to agent protocol. And it has one clear goal, to help agents work together. But what does that even mean? Let's break it down. Imagine you're a product manager and you have to finish a project by the end of the week. My condolences. You use Notion to track all your tasks and projects and use Google Calendar to, well, manage your calendar. Now you get a personal assistant to help you schedule everything. You tell it, schedule all tasks for project A before the end of this week. Again, my condolences. So what happens next? First, the assistant checks Notion and pulls up your task list along with time estimates. It finds two tasks. Task A needs one hour and task B needs four. Yeah, task B is a big boy. The assistant then heads over to Google Calendar to schedule them. But there's a problem. You don't have a four hour block free. So Google Calendar asks the assistant if task B can be broken down. The assistant checks with Notion, gets a yes, and finally the tasks get scheduled. All right, that was a lot of back and forth, but here's the key takeaway. You need a stand away for agents to give each other tasks. Moreover, you need a stand away agents can ask each other follow-up questions when things go wrong. There was no real way to do this. Well, not until A2A came around. Now, you're probably wondering, how does this actually work? And what about MCP? Is that still needed? Well, join my stream to find out. And before you swipe away, drop in a comment. Just type the word cool. It, it really helps. See you there.